Hi everyone, good morning, good evening, good night. So today we uh, have to talk about the root chakra and in the physical aspect, so that would be the genitals. So today I, sorry, so today I wrote in the blog a little bit more about the concept of the process, but focusing a little bit more in the aspect of the trauma. So the issue we are discussing today is basically the traumas. So trauma comes from the Greek word trauma, trauma, that means wound. We all had had lived in our life uh, some traumas and we had some wounds from um, the mental aspect, the emotional aspect, and the physical aspect. So we all have these uh, wounds in our history and they are very important because they get us what we are. So yesterday we spoke about the whole process uh, that we uh, go through, but, um, but um, today in the blog, I describe the most, the uh, beginning of this process, which is being chewed by the teeth, and the opposite one, which is to um, the part of the excrement. So um, remember that yesterday I spoke that life is like the process of digestion, but the first thing is, uh, the first part of this is when you go to the mouth uh, and when you are chewed um, by the teeth. So that's the part when your self is being molded by the um, by the genetics by your family by the most um, closest ones that shape your body we um, we all know that that mostly by nature we are supposed to be born through the vagina and the vagina has like these two leaves through where the baby is being born life hmm? so um, if we take the uh, digestive system as the of life so we would have these two other lips in the mouth through where the holy meal the the food will come inside and become an individual so the first thing that we do is to bite uh, the to bite the the food, the aspect of the whole, to take a tiny part that we will call an individual. Of course, that um, the first thing that we are going to leave when we begin the process of life would be the lips of the mother and then the tongue of the father. So by the shape of the two organs, you will picture also the genitals, the other organs. So in this way, the mouth will represent the feminine aspect through where life is beginning to the process and the masculine aspect will be the tongue with the phallic uh, shape. The individual will be separated from the whole by the bite. So this will represent that is the beginning of my personality, who I am, okay? An individual from the other one. So. Uh, this is why the the first teeth uh, are are the ones that you you usually show when you smile when you are angry. These are the ones that shows the others who you are. So once I had divided myself as an individual with personality between my mother and my father in the mouth, <clears throat> I start the process of being chewed uh, by my ancestors, grandmothers, grandfathers, and all the rest, the biology tree of life, that will cut myself in pieces. So the process would be kind of like this. Once you start the process, uh, that once you are uh, uh, being being created, so you are just one cell so 
Now this cell must be divided into many, so it creates the organs, it creates the muscles, the bones, the structure of the body until you have created the body. So the body is just the division of all these parts. And each part of this is the, the history of your own ancestors, of your tree of life. So each one of the ancestors has something to give to, okay? Uh, so each organ, each part of the body will have an attribute of those ancestors. So if we relate that with the separation of the being, we can recognize that every tooth is an ancestor that is going to shape and divide myself, my being, so it could be created as a body in the separation. So this means that when you are being born or created life, each one of the different aspects will be divided so you could experience your whole, your, your potential. Okay, so the question would be why a spirit would want to be divided. So the thing is this, the spirit is one thing that has a whole information, but it cannot see the details of that information. So the only way in which it can picture, understand, and work with each one of the, of the process of the aspects is by dividing it. This is why, as we said yesterday, um, you need to digest an information when you don't get it. When you don't understand, you need to digest it by separating the different parts and understand the different parts. So the process of life is basically the spirit trying to understand what it has within to experience its own potential. So basically the teeth, what they are going to do is to separate and divide each one of the aspects of the self. So then in the path of life could be better seen. So we could experience it, uh, uh, each one of them by separate. So we have to recognize that what we used to call, uh, what we call um, uh, the process of chewing. So the, the teeth dividing the food is what we in our lives call meiosis and mitosis, which is the process through which the cells starts to be divided. Okay. So they create different organs, muscles, and at the end, our whole body. So what we are, we are a divided aspect from the whole and <clears throat> expressed in different aspects. So we could experience each one of our potentials. But as I said before, what we have to understand in order to, uh, to accomplish this process is that um, uh, we need the pressure of our biology, okay, by mitosis and meiosis. So basically, we have a picture to understand about this is that the genetic codes are like the the pressure that our being is receiving from the tree of life from each one of our ancestors in order to divide us and to form ourselves to be who we are now so for many people um, we could say that this is why even before we are supposed to be born we can call this process a trauma because it's very traumatizing to divide the essence into many parts. It's like a wound. Um, basically, when we start to live, we are not only receiving the pressure of our ancestors and by genetics, but we also receive the pressure <clears throat> of the family, the partners, friends, culture, school, work, everything, the whole world. And all that world is in the teeth. So when we bite, it's a way in which our body makes us remember where are our traumas. So let's picture this. In our life, even if we are, um, even if we are um, in a very traumatic process, 
in something that it's hurting or also in um and also in in the ecstasy process we would relate this with our teeth so one of the things that we used to do when we get mad from very long time ago millions of years is this so basically the um the reason we do this like with the teeth when we get mad is because billions of years ago when we were only animals we used the teeth to attack the animals that were trying to attack us so we have in our in our body our biology the uh, the remindings that when we have to when we show our teeth like this yeah, is because we are trying to protect ourselves so we are saying to the other one attack you so the teeth are the tool that we use to show us humans um, be aware uh, I will attack you stop or you can come everything is good so when we what we do is that when we put this face of a, a, a be careful I will attack but when we smile it's because I'm showing that you can come so the teeth are showing us in our life the way in which we are reacting through thousands of years of pressure and traumas and also um, and also uh, our comfort zones so one of the things that I have to pay attention to is if I if I uh, I don't like to show my teeth if I chew very hard if I chew when I sleep what happens to my teeth how do I use them how what's what are the problems that I have in them so when I bite a lot when I make a lot of pressure with my teeth is because in my subconscious I have a trauma that is not healed yet so um, so you are trying to protect yourself like argh, from that so basically to try to understand your teeth and the problems that you have in your teeth uh, will help you to understand the traumas that you live in your life so remember that trauma comes from the word wound so the traumas are those pressures that our environment has done to us to separate our parts and uh, it's all this pressure that we receive to shape what we are so one of the things that we have to to recognize is that this is a natural process it's normal and we shouldn't wait for the universe to just make disappear the suffering of the world because the universe doesn't understand the suffering of the world and I'm going to explain why now so first of all we have to understand that suffering is not a system suffering is a choice and it is a choice because it's our actions that takes us to the suffering it's not the universe creating a system of evil so this means that we are the ones the only ones able to transform the system of suffering into a system of pressure there's no need to suffer it's an election it's a choice the suffering is something that happens because the cycle is repeating once and again something is repeating it once and again and to understand why this system is constantly repeating we have to go to the other extreme of the uh, of the system which is the, uh, the place where the poo is created the excrement in the other extreme we have the excrement which I don't know the words for English um, well of course that you may say poo shit and those words but in Spanish the in Latin languages 
it says kaka that comes from the word kakos in, in Greek and it means bad, something that is bad. Something, yeah, something that is bad. And um, also in the Latin words, cheat is nerd, nerda, which is um, the, the origin is from the Slavic, all Slavic language, which, which is smur, that uh, means smelly, that smells bad. So this represents everything that was bad, okay? Everything that we didn't use. So the bad, the bad things, the bad things of the body are the ones that we have to excrete, so take away from the body. So there's a lot of people that in the process of life, through the digestive system of life, they, they were not able to express their truth, their, their reality, their, their, their inner power. So they start again the same process. They repeat the cycle. So basically this means that the, the poo, the sheet, is going to the plant and the plant creates the, the flower again and then the fruit and the fruit is eaten again and the cycle starts all over. In this process, we used to call, to name groups of people like good people or bad people, and that bad people, we used to call it the shitty people, okay? Here we can make the question, and this is why I was explaining this before, um, that why we as a person, as a child, as a kid, has to leave so many traps if you said, um, if you said that we are the responsible of what we have created, uh, the, the choice is ours of the suffering, and you may say, but why the children has to live this, and why the children are living this? But this question is very short, because you're just thinking that life is from the moment you are born till the moment you die. And I guess that we all here know that this is not like this, that life it's going. Life is a lot big. So remember that when we ask ourselves why I had to leave that, remember that you were once the compost because you did all the process and then you came back as food. So this is the process constantly, never ending. So the process would be that the only way in which you can get outside this cycle, constant cycle, is when you, in the process of digestion, you realize yourself that you can uh, transcend the trauma and use the trauma as a tool to build yourself. It's the moment when you recognize that everything that you have lived, every trauma that you have lived, has a meaning because it helped you to be what you are. So you change the whole system. We used to think that the bad things that happen to us in our life is because there are bad people or shitty people in life. Why these people are like this? Because they are in the process of the intestine and they don't accept their inner power. The moment where I set myself free from this is when I realized that all those bad people that I had in my life, they gave me the compost to nourish the plant that I am, to flower and to create my fruits. So if I am not able to transcend that and to understand that I have to become a flower to create my own fruits, so I will also become poo. This is why the task of today is to think about and to write down each one of the traumas of our life, the bigger ones, and try to understand them as the compost to create our own projects in life. And I repeat myself, yes, even the worst things. 
So I know that many of these things are very heavy and, mm, and many of the things that maybe happen to you are very strong and horrible. But the truth is that the one that is suffering is the victim. So there is a law in the universe that if you have, if you want to keep going to transform yourself, you have to let, to transform what is making you making you suffer. It's a law. You cannot move forward if you don't transform the anchor that you have behind. So the only way to stop being to stop suffering of this is by stopping being the victim. Suffering is a concept related to the root chakra. The body is the one that tries to, that recognize the suffering by survival. It needs to survive. This is why it's related with, this, with the root chakra because it's survival in this planet. So the body interprets uh, the suffering as a clue for victim, for being a victim of anything. So uh, usually uh, from the subconscious, the unconscious or the conscious, the body will feel like, will feel um, victim of something, okay? Because the key of the body is to survive. Mm -hmm. So anything that will represent a physical or an emotional pain will um, be interpreted by the body as a victimization. So what I have to do is to change the idea of the victimization so I can use the energy of suffering for something else with a different focus. So the, base, the basic thing that we have to do is to face the trauma, to understand it, and to picture yourself in the present, trying to understand that you have survived, that you are here, and that uh, what can you do with that power of being, uh, of having survived the trauma. So remember that the example, the easy example of this would be the wound that you have from the first time you were trying to ride a bicycle. In order to, uh, so you realize now that you know how to ride a bicycle and the scars that you have, the wounds that you had are the clue to let you know that you are able to do what you do now. So basically to face the trauma is like going back to the moment and look at the wound to the eyes and tense the wound for what I have now. I know how to ride a bicycle. So for that, I have to identify what was my trauma useful for in my life? This is what um, the task for today is today, um, to write down your traumas and to give them a meaning and a purpose for you today. As much I face the traumas, as much I heal my traumas and I give them a purpose, I start to set myself free from this and through the generations suddenly suffering won't be necessary anymore so for the four difficult things to say um uh, i'm sorry thank you i'm sorry i love you uh thank you um quest look and for, forgive me? Yeah, forgive me. Okay. I'm sorry, forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And then we start to go outside the circuit. The sound of today is the vibration SO. The, st the statement for today is I am a grid of creations. The code for today is the soul pattern RA. The one that makes has a goal and it requires planning. 
which implicates thoughts. The ra sound is the pattern that was heard in the cosmic thinking, creating the plan to accomplish its goal. Critical and discerning thing that delivers wit and gives the gift of doubt. At the same time, activates the beliefs patterns that are inherent in history, beliefs that determine families, groups, cultures, nations, states, philosophies, and religions. So let's go to the root, to to the um, to all the traumas, and pains, and things that are there stopped there let's bring it awareness i begin to stretch the body to yawn i make a tiny massage to the body I let the weight of the body fall down. Pay attention to your breathing and feel the oxygen coming through your nose towards the lungs, heart, blood, organs and muscles. Take a deep breath and allow yourself to fall down within, looking for a cell. Picture it bigger and bigger as your body until you feel it in front of you. Take a deep breath and go within the cell, feeling yourself floating in the cytoplasm. With your hands, take the chromosomes in the core of the cell and start to braid it until you feel the chain of DNA curling in your fingers. Recognize that they are the codes that makes you be who you are. Take a deep breath and recognize that you are in a mother cell within the womb of your mother. I am an egg. I watch over me and I feel the light of the I am coming towards me. In a spiral within the shape of an spermatozoid. I perceive how the spermatozoid touches the egg, changing its polarity, 
making it shine as the sun. Take a deep breath and allow the light of the I am to come within in the shape of the spiral. Coming down through the crown, the third eye, throat, heart, plexus, and from there, its genetical material starts to be spread through the sacrum, the root, knees and feet. I feel how through meiosis my cell starts to divide into two. Myself, I, here, and in front of me, the am. I am, yo soy. Perceive how the cell is to divide in four, eight, sixteen, and so on, until the cells starts to create organs, muscles, bones, my entire body. I feel the cells creating my heart, my brain, stomach, intestines, lungs, And I start to perceive my feet, legs, hands, arms, and head. I recognize the pressure of them, the pressure of biology, genetics, and life. And I become aware of the pressure that I will receive in the life I'm heading to. I become aware, heading to the light, that all this pressure is the one that will help me to activate my potential. I start to the sound, activating the potential of each one of the creations that forms me, of this breed of creations that connects my whole body. Through the sound, recognize the pressure pushing outside I begin to perceive how my crown is outside in the light of the outer world now my head starts to pull outside neck shoulders, arms and hands, back, chest, stomach and waist, my hip and dentals, all outside in the light of the world. I recognize from now on I am a greed of creations, yo soy I am the greed of creations. I am the greed of creations. And all the pressure from the world is the energy I will use to create.
I take my hands to my heart. I recognize that every trauma, every pressure that I have received in my life are the energies that I will use to nourish the flowers, to blossom and to create, for I am a grid of creations. Take a deep breath and begin to bring through all your body this awareness, caressing, stretching and yawning. back here and now opening your eyes. So something for you to know is that as we eat, biting uh, with our teeth, the place from where we receive the energy around is through the joints in the oh. And the, all the energy from that when we are with a lot of energy, we will feel it vibrating that, the, that is coming out from my teeth, vibrating. Um, so we have here a hole where the energy comes in and another hole down there, the anus, through where the energy goes out. So from this one, I assimilate the energy, absorb the energy, and from the other one, I affirm the energy. So are the two doors, uh, conducts, that must be in balance. Hmm? So this is the beginning and the ending of the digestive system of life. First, I absorb the energy to create what I am, and then at the last spot, I affirm that energy in who I am. Hmm? So thank you for being there, for being part of this path, and see you tomorrow for me. Bye.